always looking, looking for the way In this bubble, lost, but it feels so safe We're playing, playing a game Make your move, make your move now Before it's too late Good morning guys, welcome back to the weekly vlog. We're starting this one off um, by getting ready to go to training. It's Saturday morning, currently 7.31 a.m. As you guys saw, I made my bed, watered my plants, and now I'm just, um, I just cleanse my skin and then I'm just going to basically apply some sunscreen. That's what I'm doing now. I haven't slacking in the sunscreen department a lot. So incorporate that into my morning routine again. And I just applied some moisturizer in my hand as well. So this is what we are working with. Just gonna apply some of the Laneige, Laneige <laughs> sleeping mask. I really just use this as a regular lip balm because it's so moisturizing and thick. So yeah, that's it for the hair and the skin for today. Now let's go get dressed. Let's get dressed. Okay, we're all dressed and um, it's 7.45 now. I'm just gonna cut an apple and just snack on that for a little bit, take my vitamins and make sure that my little bag is packed with my water and everything. Then we're pretty much going to head out. So let's go get that done. Right, guys so before i head out to my workout i just wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by care up which is so crazy because i've been using this vitamin service for years i think since 2018 so i'm so excited to be working with them and also sharing this product with you because it's great i think it's one of the most convenient thing ever because your vitamins come in this little box here and in these cute little packets that is personalized to you which is the best part i love stuff like this as you guys can see it says hi octavia it has a little quote here and all of your vitamins are in the same place in these little packets and i also decided to try out their collagen this time because you know to help the skin and everything so i also got some collagen so how it works you go to their site and you're going to be taking a quiz and the quiz is just going to ask you your name your age what state you're in and also it's gonna ask you what your concerns are and what goals you're trying to like achieve health wise and they have a ton of different vitamins for all different reasons so just take the quiz and they're going to recommend the best ones for you and the best part thing also they do their research and they have so much information on all of the vitamins that they offer on the site so if you ever wanted to read up on anything it's there for you you. so the vitamins that I was recommended to take the first one is vitamin D now this is essential for your general health and strong bones iron which is essential mineral that plays a role in critical bodily functions well as tax is a powerful antioxidant property that can support your eyes heart and skin health the next one I'm taking is vitamin C which is a powerful antioxidant that plays a role in immune health then I got a probiotic blend, and which is just helpful for the digestive system. And the final one I have is rhodiola. I think that's how you say it. This is to help with stress. So it helps your body handle stress. I think so that's pretty much what I've been taking and then in addition to those my collagen so yeah that's pretty much it I'm so excited to be working with them right now because I genuinely love love this service I've been using it since 2018 I love it so yeah be sure to use my code for 50% off your first box of vitamins and the link will be in my description box for you for you to check it out be sure to do the quiz so you can see which ones are best for your body and they have a ton of info on the site so you can read up and do your own research so yeah that's pretty much it now let's go get this workout done <laughs> Original bad man, 
She give me pon me heart, say she give me pon me heart. Fine girl, I call me not me heart. Say she bounce pon the thing so, whine it pon me thing so. Put the thing upon me thing, whine it pon me thing so. I say she whine it pon me heart. Man, I give it to her one time. Say she want it one time. Whine it pon me heart. Man, I step in the yard, man, it girls them say I, 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 I. Last one, switch. I know bad man, I ain't want to say I, 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 I. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so it's still Saturday. I just took a really long nap after my workout. I desperately needed one. So the moment I got home, I showered, did a little bit of work on the computer, and then passed out because I was so tired. That workout took everything out of my body, every energy I had. So right now, I'm getting ready to go out. It's currently 5.30. I'm going out for drinks. I'm going to go bowling. So it should be like a fun fill tonight. So I'm going to be doing a very light makeup, not nothing crazy. I'm just going out with the cousins. Um, what are we going to listen to? I'm in the mood for either reggae. Ooh, I could do some mulatto. Okay, let's see. What should I play? Mulatto. If you guys don't know, maybe I'm saying her name wrong. Mulatto, mulatto, that's her. <laughs> Don't know what song I want to start off with though, but I'm gonna just start off with a classic the one that I love the most Then we'll just listen to some other stuff, but yeah, let's do this thing All right, guys, makeup is done. Not my best work, but I don't care. Let's just spray my face. Oh my God, look what the eyeliner, the mascara did. Okay, I'm never using this mascara again. I'm actually gonna throw it away because I'm not dealing with this. Now I can't trust you. Now I cannot trust you. Now I can't trust you. Now I have trust issues. Look what you just did. Macambara, 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 Macambara. Oh my god. So, for my hair tonight, I'm gonna keep the bun. I'm just gonna put some product in it just to kind of help it be slick. <laughs> be slicked down. Um, I'm gonna get my hair done very soon, so I'm not really worried about putting all this product. It's all good. Just needed some sort of moisture in my hair. And I'm just going to be brushing it in a little side bun ponytail thing. Same thing I did this morning before the workout, but tighter and more slick. <laughs> if you guys remember, one of my first videos on YouTube was like the sleek bun tutorial. I'm gonna link it for you guys so you guys can watch it. It's like from a year and a half ago. Go watch it. I was so extra in the video, but yeah. So that's how I sleek my hair down. 
and I've been doing the same method for many years and my hair is pretty thin so it's literally the, one of the easiest things to do and it always looks so good in my opinion like on my head like it looks good it's a good style on my head shape or my head face um, however, whenever I wear this, everyone always thinks I got a haircut, like I have a pixie cut or something, and it's like, nope, just a tiny behind bun. Um, and this is like my go-to hairstyle for whenever my hair just doesn't look that great down. This is my go-to hairstyle. And I like to use the Tresemme Gel. It's in number four strength, so it's pretty strong. Like your hair will stay down. I don't like to use a lot of gel on my hair because I don't like that crispy hair feeling. I That's like my biggest thing. I hate, I hate that. Like I hate it so much. So I like when my hair is able to move. Like if I move it, it moves. I don't want it to be like stuck. Because then the only way for me to remove it afterwards is by like I have to wash my hair. All right, this is what we're working with, a nice sleek bun. I'm gonna pull out the sides here. And this is the mess that I've made in my bathroom right now. So I'm just going to clean this up. Then um, I'm gonna head out and show you guys my outfit. Okay, so this is the makeup in natural lighting. My bathroom's lighting suck. It sucks so bad, it's not true to tone. So this is the makeup. Like a very natural look. I, I like I quite like it. Um, and then for the outfit tonight, but I'm just wearing this black crop tang from a Riona. These black jeans, and then I'm gonna wear some sneakers. Something very simple. Um, but let me clean up because I don't have much time before I have to leave. So let me just get that done. All right, guys. Just made it to the liquor store. I'm currently in AJ's car. Um, we are heading over to Renee's apartment to pregame before bowling. Um, so yeah, I'm here with AJ picking up some additional stuff. I don't know what he's getting because we have enough liquor. He's just like a frat boy, <laughs> to be honest. And if you guys don't know who AJ is, AJ is my cousin slash roommate. You guys never see him because I just don't, sh he doesn't want to be showed. But I'm gonna see if he wants to be on camera tonight. Everyone around me is starting to warm up to the camera. As you guys saw, um, Renee, she was very scared at first, but now she's so, she's basically a natural. And then Tiff is still warming up. Courtney's fine because she has her own channel, but everyone is slowly warming up to it so I can show more now. But also, I don't wanna like invade anyone's privacy because at the end of the day, my family is number one and if they're not cool, I'm not gonna show them, okay? So that's pretty much that. But yeah, we're just here right now. The lighting is so perfect. <laughs> but um, I'll pull you guys back out once we get to Renee's apartment. I'm pretty much halfway done getting ready. I still need to do my hair. I was thinking of either leaving it down, but I'm already hot, so I'm just gonna do a sleep bun like what I did last night. But first, let me show you my outfit. Don't mind the background, it's so messy in my bedroom right now. Tomorrow is gonna be a cleaning day for me, considering Monday's Labor Day and there's no work. So I'm wearing this shirt dress. And I wanted to wear this because I wanted this outfit to be able to be very versatile because we're going to Dumbo, which is like a very photogenic area in Brooklyn. So I thought I wanted to get some content. And I was thinking that what can I possibly wear without having to pack additional clothes? Because I know that's going to be annoying. So I chose this. Now it's a dress from Zara. So this is going to be one outfit. And I'm going to be wearing sneakers. So that's fine. So this is the first outfit. It's going to be like a 
simple dress and it has a bit of cinching in the waist so it's very flattering so i can just do like this outfit and then i'm going to tie it back at some point and do like a little shirt and short kind of deal something like that or i could also do like you know something like that where it's still down but it's gonna look different each each time you know so i definitely wanted an outfit that was versatile for three different looks kind of and i'm gonna bring the louis vuitton scarf so i can either tie it as a belt or around my head i don't know yet but i thought i would do that i was thinking of bringing my speedy today also I haven't worn this in a long time um i might bring this it's kind of tiny but it's fine All right, we're all set with the hair. For shoes, I'm gonna be wearing my Supergas. I haven't worn these all summer. And if you guys remember, I told you guys I saw Jenny Day wearing them um, a few months ago and I fell in love. I purchased them from Nordstrom, I think. Very inexpensive. I think they're the same price as like a Converse, but I love this one a lot more than a Converse because it's just, it just looks more minimal neat on my feet converses don't ever look good on my foot i don't know why so these look a lot better yep that's cute that is so cute this outfit is cute i love this outfit So we made it to the city, New York, Dumbo, Brooklyn. And everyone is here <laughs> in the face over there. Here currently, <laughs> the light is unfortunately coming from the back. So we're currently walking to the Blue Stone Lane Cafe to get a little bite before we go ride bikes. And everyone's a little bit nervous about the bike riding Definitely. when that wasn't the energy last night. I'm excited. Tim, you're the main one that looks scared. <laughs> We're gonna go on a bridge. Like, I'm not gonna go on a bridge. <laughs> I'm nervous because I might fall off or hit something or someone. No, it's a memory. No, it is a good memory. All right, we got a little bit lost because I was chatting. And it's so hard to vlog, so noisy, so I'm back. All right, so we are yeah, at the first stop for our itinerary. We're gonna just grab something really, really light. Hey guys. And they are behaving themselves, really good kitties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna just grab a little juice and something to eat first. Then we're gonna find a city bike station and then we're gonna yeah. ride across the Soho, possibly do a little bit of shopping maybe, and then come back. Does it matter which? Um, no, I think it really everywhere. don't matter. It's all the yeah. matter fine didn't want. So we're ordering our food. You finished? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then we're just going to eat. So that's what we're going to be doing now.
All right, so we successfully got our bikes after 30 minutes. <laughs> um, we, I got the electric, who has a regular bike? Me. Tiff, if you want to trade at any point, I'm willing. I, I need this a little more. Yeah. I just, to see, oh no. <laughs> guys I really tried to get some footage of us riding the bikes but it was so hard to vlog and ride at the same time it was literally impossible but now we are we checked in the bikes back on Chambers Street now we're gonna head over to Zara which is about seven minutes from here we're just trying to figure out where to walk and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of shopping so let's go do that Uh, Alright guys, Zara well, shopping fine. was successful. Ready. So Zara haul Ooh. coming soon on the channel. You guys know I love Zara hauls. So yeah, we're heading back to the city bike station now so we can get another bike to ride back across the bridge. Um, Renee and Court are gonna Uber. And then... Not because they don't like the bike. Don't make me seem lazy or no, something. No, okay. <laughs> I was just gonna explain to them why you weren't. You don't have to do that. <laughs> because we have a whole bunch of bags, so she's gonna grab them and help us out so we can have a smooth ride. It, it, we are in the south. And then, you know, because me and Tiff are country gal, you know, we know how to <laughs> maneuver. <laughs> Guys, New York drivers are so aggressive, it's not even fun. <laughs> All right, guys, um, we're back at the city bikes now. So we're gonna ride over, so I'll meet you guys in Brooklyn. Hello. All right, guys, see you in Brooklyn. <laughs> now, I was just gonna tell the vlog that we have made it to Brooklyn, so we're just sitting down now on this little blanket. Courtney and Tiff are grabbing the food because they're such angels because my foot I'm tired, <laughs> my back tired. Side, like, yeah, yeah, there's an the outdoor side, food a festival that we really wanted to attend, but due to COVID, you're not able to like walk through. We have to order for pickup, so we're, and we ended up doing that. Yeah, and it's not as big. Like normally no. there's like a lot of vendors, but this time they only have like a select amount yeah. of vendors. And, and you think that, oh, we're in a park, you know, they can put it in like a big area. It's so sad. The place looks so sad and just so like, <laughs> I don't want that to be on the internet it, because yeah. I feel bad for them because yeah. I feel like no, but this usually just, is a great thing for Brooklyn, mm -hmm. but this time around it's hard. You see, this is what I'm saying, COVID is ruining everybody's lives. It really is. However, I do feel like they should let you know just because like I wanted to go to Smartboard for a very long time this and like first time. I would have drove out here for it. Yeah. And imagine like we from weren't doing pictures, other stuff. From the pictures. Maybe we should put it on the internet so people can have wow. realistic expectations because I yeah, feel like sure. we were um, thinking we were gonna see like a really big festival. You can go to eat stand and get whatever food you want, and then oh, they have the food! Yeah, oh, I'm it's here. Oh, I, I, 
I have not seen you guys for hours. Such a bad vlogger. No, I'm vlogging. <laughs> I have not showed them anything. I just noticed. You guys are not even helping me. <laughs> guys, I've just been enjoying time with my cousins, guys. We've just been in the moment. Like, I don't know what I got on, on the camera. I don't know what footage I have or don't have. But we are in the town now. We're coming to get something sweet. Because you know, after every salty meal, we need a dessert. All about balance. Also, we plan to go to Six Flags tomorrow, which, is, which was so random. We did that like on a hungry stomach. <laughs> Thirsty for adventure. But today was so fun. My feet are numb, my feet hurt like hell, but it's all good. Ooh. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday. Please ignore my appearance right now. I am a hot mess, it's, but it's been a long day at work. I am, oh, I, I don't even want to get into it. You know, I don't even want to bring that energy right now. Let's just don't even talk about it. Anyways, I just got home. I am doing a couple things around the apartment right now. I need to go through my closet and kind of like clean. For no apparent reason, I just want to clean because it helps me clear my head. But I thought I would start in my closet because I kind of want to get some stuff out and away. Get myself sorted out for fall, get the winter stuff out and stuff. Because before you know it, it's going to get cold. So I'm just going to put on a pair of sweats and then we're going to get started on the closet. It's already waiting for us. So, you guys ready to work? That's the spirit. All right, so here we are, and I was thinking that I would go through my bins first, but to be honest, I don't even have that much house clothes, so I feel like there's not that much in there that I would have to go through. But I want to tackle my denim because, you know what, you guys, I always get upset because sometimes I wear these pants and they don't fit me that flattering, and it's because they're not right for my body. So I'm going to go through these jeans and kind of like get rid of the ones that don't suit me, because there's no reason I need to be wearing pants that don't fit me. Then they make me feel even worse about myself because they don't flatter my body. So they accentuate certain areas, fupas and on all of that. So let's go through the jeans. So the first jeans that we have here is this pair of jeans. Now, I got this from Target years ago and I just love the way how it fits me. But it's definitely like a summer, summer vibe. So... I'm just going to fold this up and kind of just put it in my summer batch of clothes. So I'm going to put that there. I got these jeans from Express. Um, they fit really nicely, but I kind of just feel like the detailing. Actually, I'm going to try this on really quickly. Um, next pair of jeans are these ones here. Oh, I know what jeans these are. These are from Boyish. Really good quality. Definitely going to be with me for many years. So... Let's just slide her down to the back there. But it's definitely, I wouldn't say it's a summer wash. It has some rips, but I feel like I could transition that into fall. So let's leave it. Next jean I have, these are from Zara. I love these jeans. And these are from Free People. Let's leave this for next summer because I really don't see myself wearing white jeans in the winter. And they're also cropped, so I don't really think they'd be very flattering. Now, this is from Zara. I recently purchased this. This is from um, Fashion Nova. These do fit me, actually. And then I have these jeans on here. This is from Fashion Nova. Okay, so the waist is a little bit tight because, as you guys know, I did gain a little bit of weight. But I just feel like they'll fit me again one day, just not today. So, see you next year. <laughs>
Alright guys, so this is what I'm working with so far. I still have some more work to do in order to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing because you guys know aesthetics is everything for me. So I'm going to be um, just going through a little bit more again. I just wanted to color coordinate for now kind of and kind of like get my fall stuff out. And But I'm going to get some like stuff from Amazon and kind of like do something a little bit more aesthetic. Maybe put some acrylic containers here. I don't know, but I feel like I can make this look a lot better than it does look right now. I, but I think I want a larger mirror in here. I'm going to take the jewelry thing off and do something different. I don't know yet. Just This is just the what it looks like right now but just wanted to let you guys see what we did today and then i have my luggages in the corner i'm gonna put those outside in the closet and you know the whole nine so let's just pack these stuff back in because this is where they live at night because i hate having them in my room because it just creates so much clutter morning 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 today is wednesday just woke up i did not just wake up obviously i didn't wake up like this but i woke up and got ready for the day so i'm going to be heading into the office for for a very short while then i'm going to head out to the mall i think i might have told you guys yesterday i've had my eye on a prada bag for a while so i wanted to go into the mall to kind of try it on see how i like it then order it online but if they do have it there um I'll probably just buy it I just want to see how it fits first because I'm kind of obsessed with it and I kind of want it so I kind of just want to see how it looks on my body first then I might buy it um, I'm going to go to the office I might bring you guys with me but I don't know if I want to bring my camera or vlog on my phone um, I really don't shop in stores when I buy a luxury bag or anything like that so I really don't know what their policy is or filming I usually just buy it online because I really don't care to go in the stores and then what else did I really need I really need a coat but I'm gonna give it a few more weeks for all the coats from every store to be released then I'll get a coat then um, I wanted to do a head start on the fall shopping but to be honest fall is like not really a season that I have to buy a lot of clothes for because I already have stuff in storage that I can wear and you can basically just throw a blazer over a top like this and call it fall you know a fall outfit so yeah um, I'm all packed and ready to head out now I'm just gonna put on my face mask at an uber um, head into the office and then um, I'll touch base with you guys after okay Alright guys, the bag is perfect. She's just wrapping it in the back now. Then I'm gonna go over to Aldo or Steve Madden to try to find some boots for the fall because I really need some boots. But everyone in here was so nice and they're Jamaican, so. <laughs> Alright guys, use my phone right now because my camera is deep in my bag and I have no more free hands. So we're done with Prada and I went to Aritzia. So now I'm just going to head to Aldo. Alrighty guys, I'm back home. Um, if you hear voices, my roommate's outside with a friend. So um, yeah, I'm back home. I got everything that I... Well, I got more stuff than I really anticipated, but um, it's all good. That little retail therapy was very, very good, I feel like. So I'm going to try to get... Um, so I'm going to try to eat some of my Cheesecake Factory food before I leave out for the gym because I'm starving and there's no way I'm going to survive trading without some food in my belly. So catch you guys later on. Alright guys, made it to training. Time to go die. Renee's back here <laughs> with the twirls as usual. <laughs> Renee's always in a good mood. People who be in the same mood all the time it's crazy i'm joking she's just a sweetheart Aww. How are you, beloved? but i'm a little bit more sk little sis. Oh, a little sis. A, a little a little jamaican <laughs> a little bo mark my iphone <laughs> all right let's set up i'm gonna put you guys right here 
Warm-up is done. Did three rounds of that whole jumping jack, push-up, and sit-up combo. Now I'm getting ready for second part. So, oh, we're right by the train station, by the way. So it's very scenic. They extended far enough. Uh, both of you practice at one time. I already forgot the leg. Is it like a this? Yeah. Yep, exactly. Starting here? Okay, put it on the back. Yep. So you come to start from the back of your head. Right here? Yep, and then you move like that. Your arm straight. Uh-huh. Back up. 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 No, I like, use all my it. strength in that. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Today is Thursday, Thursday at 7 something a.m. I'm about to hop into the kitchen shortly and start making breakfast and start my day, but I'm so tired. I went to bed at like 1 a.m. last night, 1 a.m. After training, I got home around like 8.20 and then I sat in my chair over there and edited till about 1 a.m. But on the bright side, the weekly vlog is done. I just have to input this last bit that I'm about to film. But before I depart today, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna start doing the weekly vlogs every two weeks because it's very difficult now for me to do them every week. Um, yeah, I, I no longer can do that and it's so unfortunate because I was on such a streak, you know, every single Sunday, Octavia Sundays. But you know what, you guys, I just live. You know, I just live. Um, I really don't know where this journey will go, how far it will go, when it will end, whatever. I don't know what the future holds, but I can only try my best. And I don't ever want to stop. I mean, I really do like it. YouTube is kind of like my escape from real life sometimes. And I really, really like it. I love interacting with all of you guys, but um, I have to be honest with myself in terms of what I'm able to do. And I just can't do it every week anymore. So I'm so sorry. So you're seeing this today, but and the next one will be not next Sunday, but the next one. So you'll be getting a weekly vlog twice per month now. And if I can do three or do four, I'll do it. But you know, for now, that's what we're gonna be doing. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support. I really, really, really do. You guys are so cool. And this week I've been taking like a little break from Instagram also, so I haven't been very active there. And I got so many sweet messages from you guys asking if I'm good, to take it easy. And you guys are just awesome, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. So, 
All right, guys, I'm just going to end this vlog off here right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another vlog in a week or so. And, um, yeah, thanks as always for watching and see you soon, okay? Bye.